Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm doing a get ready with me slash first impressions on a bunch of new makeup that I got in the mail recently. I am going to be using the Saharan palette by Juvia's Place. This palette is so pretty and so pigmented. So these kind of are out of my element. They're super colorful, but I did use this today as well as a bunch of other new makeup. So I hope you guys enjoy this video. Let me know if you wanna see more and let's just jump right into it. Okay, so I already did my skincare and I also did my brows as well just to make it easier. But I am gonna go in with my Brazilian Kiss Lip Butter. I love this stuff. It is such a good moisturizer for your lips and it smells so good too. So I've talked about this stuff before. I just love the Brazilian line, the Sol de Janeiro, so good. So I put this on my lips first. And I'm also gonna highlight my shoulders because I've been liking doing that for the summertime just to give it like a nice glow. So I'm using the Marc Jacobs. This is the Do You Do Drops. And I've seen Casey Holmes do this and it looks so good. So I started doing it too because I really like Casey and I trust her opinion on things. So I'm just gonna take a little bit of this. And I did get some color yesterday. I'm kind of burnt on this side if you can see and a little burnt on my face too. So I'm just gonna rub this in. It gives you such a nice golden glow. And I'm also gonna do a little bit on my collarbone. Yeah, my face definitely got some color too, but my body mainly tans and my face will kind of stay white. So, there's that. Okay, now I'm gonna do eyes first, just in case there's any fallout, I like to do eyes first, that way I can clean it up. So I'm gonna zoom you guys in and do some eyes. So today we're gonna use the Saharan by Juvia's. We're gonna use this palette because I've never used it, but I have swatched it and it is super, super pigmented. So there isn't really a lighter transition shade in here, so I'm gonna use a bronzer for my transition shade. So I'm gonna use the Hoola by Benefit. And I'm just gonna work this into my crease with a fluffy brush. I already primed my eyelids too. I love using Hoola as a transition shade because I feel like it's the perfect shade. I'm actually gonna grab some tape because I like the tape trick. Okay, I have my tape on. So let's go into this palette right here and I'm gonna grab this darker brown and work this on the outer half. I have no idea what kind of look I'm gonna go for, but I kind of wanna do something brighter and a little bit out of my element. These shadows are really pigmented. So I think I wanna go in with this pop of orange and I'm just gonna put this a little bit lower in my crease. Hopefully this isn't too wild for me. Whoa, that's wild. Okay, this is looking very orange, but I am gonna go in with I think I'm gonna go in with Zoya, which is right here, and place this on the lid with my finger. Now I'm gonna go back in with that first blending shade and just blend out the edges. So I'm gonna darken this up a little bit in the outer half. So I'm gonna take Chad, which is a black, and just add a little bit of this, little bit of Chad. I also don't want this to turn out like too Halloween-y. And then we're gonna go back in again and we are going to blend with that brown shade. Thank you. 
Okay, I think I want to take this brighter color. It's called Fula, and I don't know if I'm pronouncing these right, but I think I'm going to take a little bit of that and put it right in the center of the lid. Again, with my finger, because I always use my finger. I feel like you get the most pigmentation out of your finger, as opposed to a brush. Or maybe I just haven't found the perfect brush. I can't get over how pigmented these are though. They're super, super pigmented. Okay, so I just took off the tape and I'm just cleaning up underneath my eyes. I don't think I'm gonna do a wing liner today, but I am going to apply false lashes, so I will be right back. Okay, so the eyes are done. I just have to smoke it out underneath after I do my foundation. So I'm gonna go in with this primer. This is the Becca Backlight Primer. And I used this a long time ago and I really liked it, but then I stopped using it. So I'm gonna use it today. I really do like the Juvia's Place palette. I feel like it is super pigmented. And if you're someone who likes like a lot of color, then you would really like it. For me, it's definitely not what I'm used to, but it is really pretty and I like the pops of color. So I feel like that's definitely gonna help me create more like colorful looks. And even though this one isn't super colorful, it's colorful for me. Okay, and now I'm gonna go in with the Tarte Clay Stick Foundation. I've used this a couple of times. I had mixed opinions on it at first. Um, it started breaking up on my face, but I think it depends on the primer that you use with this. So I have not tried it with this primer, so let's see how it looks. And this one's in medium neutral. And I also have been using a brush lately to blend in my makeup. I've been using the Heavenly Luxe Flat Top Buffing Foundation Brush from IT Cosmetics. I always used to use a sponge, but lately I haven't been using one. I think I started using this foundation with the Real Technique sponge and it was breaking up. So I decided to use it with a brush and I like it better. I also feel like this color is really good for me right now because it matches my body. Like I said before, my face just does not get tan. Or if it does, it's like very, very lightly tan. Okay, now I'm gonna go in with the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer. I use two of them. I use light medium and then also light neutral. This has really good coverage. I do find that you have to work fast with it. And I'll do the darker one a little bit lower and then the lighter one higher. And I'm gonna blend this in with a sponge. And it is a dry sponge. I'm gonna to contour today using the Hoola Benefit. I always use this contour because I really like the shade of it. I'm also gonna bronze up my face a little bit more and I'm gonna use this Too Faced Sweethearts Bronzer and this is in Sweet Tea just to bronze myself up even more. Is anyone else really excited for the new Hangover Primer Spray? Cause that stuff seems really cool. I don't know if it's a makeup setting spray or a primer spray, but it's from Too Faced and I really want it. I think it comes out in either July or August. And I also really want the Urban Decay Naked Heat Palette. I've been eyeballing that and it looks really pretty. Okay, for blush today, I'm gonna go in with a new blush. This is the Anastasia Blush Trio, and this is in Peachy Love. I have not used this yet, but this is what it looks like. It has three shades, two matte and a shimmer. I am going to go in with this first one, and I'm actually gonna mix it with the second one. See what it looks like. Ooh. I like that a lot. It's really pretty and it is pigmented, so I'm gonna blend it out a little bit. I'm gonna use another brush from IT Cosmetics and just blend it a little bit better. Okay, for highlighter today, I'm gonna use the new Becca Light Chaser Highlighter. Now this is for your face and your eyes, so if you wanted to use it as an eyeshadow, you could. But I am going to use it today for a highlighter. And this one is in Champagne Dream Flashes Bellini. Looks like that. And let's see, to me they felt a little bit powdery. They didn't feel too creamy, so let's see how it looks.
Mm -hmm. Okay, I didn't think I was gonna like this, but it's really pretty. It's like subtle, it's nothing too crazy, but it is definitely pretty. Okay, that was very pretty. Now moving on, I'm gonna smoke out my lower lash line just so it ties everything together. So I just added mascara to the bottom lashes. I just used my Tarte Lights Camera Lashes. Obsessed with this mascara, it is so good. So I used that. And now, I think that's all that's left to do is lips. So I'm gonna take a Bite Beauty lip liner and this is in number 36. It's just a nice nude. And now I'm gonna use one of these new Huda Beauty liquid lipsticks. I got the mini set. I wanna use like a more of a brown. So let's see. Which one is more of a brown? I think Venus, or is it Flirt? I'm gonna mix the Venus and Flirt together because one of them looks more brown and one of them looks more peach. But I feel like I have a very peachy look so it might, like, might look good together. What one is this? Okay, let's do Venus first and see what it looks like. It's peachy. Okay, it's pretty. It's a little peachy, so I'm gonna add a little bit of Flirt because it's more of a brown nude. I think I like that a lot better. Okay, so this is the completed look. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know if you wanna see more of these and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye.